Oh, yep. Yep. I've gone and done it. Look at me. I'm as red as a beetroot. Only on my cheeks and at the top of my damn head. Guys, I got a bit more sun in the last couple of days than these guys did. Um, <laughs> today, look, I, I was gonna save this video for later. I thought, no, you look like shit. But you know what? Fuck it. Look at this guy sitting there. What is he doing? We're gonna watch the top 10 world record speedruns at Games Done Quick. This video is brought on because of the fact that I spent 30 hours of my life that I'll never get back uh, playing and finishing, believe it or not, the Pokemon Yellow game for Game Boy. That was released in 1998. I think I must have got my first copy in 1999 and I hadn't played it since about 2000 or 2001. I thought it was going to be a breeze. I spent over 30 hours on live stream finishing that game. It took five different live streams. I thought it was going to take one. And so, you know, for, for, for me to look at games now, I know what it takes to clock a game. I, I completely and utterly forgot what it took to clock a game. Um, and I'm sure there's games out there that would take a whole lot more than 30 hours. But what we are going to see today is the top 10 world record speedruns at Games Done Quick. Let's have a look. Hello ladies and gents, it's EasyScape, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the top 10 world record speedruns that are made out of Games Done Quick. If you're not sure what Games Done Quick is, it's a charity... Hello ladies and gents, it's EasyScape, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the top 10 world record speedruns that are made out of Games Done Quick. If you're not sure what Games Done Quick is, it's a charity marathon that runs twice a year during summer and winter, which has generated over a million dollars every marathon since 2014. This is a huge event that generally has over 100,000 viewers consistently during the entire week the marathon goes on. This means that tensions are much higher and the probability of getting a world record and speedrun during a live marathon is not only rare, but extremely impressive. At the end of the video, I'll explain hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, wait, 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 what am I watching? Live marathon is not only rare, but extremely impressive. At the end of the video, I'll explain how I rank. This guy is playing Tetris like an absolute grandmaster. But I hope you guys enjoy. The first run on this list is any percent speed run of Duke Nukem. So these guys come to an event that happens only twice a year for a week that has the most viewers on a live stream of gaming that you're going to find in the whole entire world. And these guys actually set a world record pace at this event in front of everybody. Now that is the equivalent in the gaming world of someone coming in at the Olympic Games and setting not only their personal best but also smashing the world record at the Olympics in the 100 meter final. This, that's what we're dealing with here, guys. That is what we're dealing with, in my opinion. Dude, during Summer Games Done Quick 2014 by Bonesaw577. Duke Nukem 2 is a platform game where you beat each level by collecting items and defeating enemies till you get to the end of the level alien boss. During his run, Bonesaw executed the levels well enough to beat the world record at a pace of 32 minutes and 12 seconds. There aren't any leaderboards posted for this run, so I'm left to assume that this is a current recorded world record for this game. PS2 never Time. stopped. What's he doing? That's world record, dude. Did he just get told that it was world record? The next run Hang on, what happened there? So he knew what the time was. They told him what his time was, and he said, shit, that's a world record. All right. Duke Nukem 2. Not the most interesting game, in my opinion, but a classic nonetheless, I'm led to believe. 32 minutes. That's that's not 30 hours. Just, just, just by the way, it's the last thing I'll say. The speedrun record for Pokemon Yellow is under two hours. 2016 by Nosferate. Velocity 2X is a puzzle, shoot 'em up, and a platform based video game all in one. In this game, you play outside of your ship and inside it, utilizing teleports to get through the game. The main point of this game is to rescue stranded ships, and Nosferate was able to do this fast enough to get the world record of 1 hour, 24 minutes, and 25 seconds, which is still the second fastest time on the leaderboards. 
The current world record for this game is 1 hour, 19 minutes, and 15 seconds by Matty Ice 3131. Time. Let's see what his reaction is. <laughs> He's just just like the other guy. World record. Instantly. New. And that's how that's you you spend your whole entire life playing that one game. You finally hit a world record in front of a hundred thousand people. And that's how you react? Come on, bruh. Moving through targets and landing smoothly to get enough points to get medals starting from bronze to gold. After receiving a bronze medal in each of the twelve missions you beat the game, Graviton was soaring through each mission matching his personal best and even making a few new ones with only losing time in one or two missions, granting him the world record of 33 minutes and 31 seconds. The current world record for the speedrun is 24 minutes and 53 seconds by yet again Graviton. What? He, 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 he cut off 25% of the time. Okay, I'm okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, give this man a high five, or a or a, a rub on rub on the shoulder. Either way. Oh no, there we go. There we go. Got one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Handshake. What about the girl? The next run is any percent speed run of infamous Festival of Blood by Skate for a Living during Awesome Games on Quick 2015. In the Festival of Blood, the protagonist Cole McGrath gets bitten by a vampire, which then turns him into a vampire. So along with his normal electric powers, he also has these new vampire abilities. Skate was able to use these powers to beat the game in 26 minutes and 54 seconds, giving him the world record and still his current personal best. The current world record for this game is 23 minutes and 54 seconds by the game is 23 minutes and 54 seconds by Sir Sanju. Ready? So did Did he use a strategy that no one had used before? What did you just say? That's world record. <laughs> That's a new world record. They got the same tone, don't they? Oh my god, I cannot stop looking at my fucking head. Right. There's only one way to sort that out. The next run is at any percent speed run of Braid during Summer Games on Quick 2016 by Seawolf20. Braid is a puzzle platformer in which you collect and use puzzle pieces to traverse through levels. Each world is a different method in which you reverse time to get through the level, and it can also be used to speed things up. Seawolf20 was able to do all of this in a very impressive run, run with getting a 24-54 in-game time, which was... These are all under an hour, please. Give me, give me something long form. Seconds, ...which is still the current RTA world record, mainly because RTA isn't commonly ran. An impressive I suppose run, this video is over four years old now. gotten sub 24 that's actually only 10 seconds for my pb awesome well, that wow. was that was a really good run yeah I'm, nice. I'm, I'm really happy with that what was my rta who the fuck is that guy that's a world record for rta wow world record rta ladies and gentlemen nice job awesome something artistic the next run on our list is any percent speed run for bubble ghost during summer games on quick 2016 by proto magical girl Bubble Ghost is a Game Boy game that was published in 1990 where you're a ghost that pushes a bubble around. Okay, I'm guessing I'm guessing that throughout the weekend, uh, the content that they want to stream, they they do want to mix it up. They don't want one person being on stream for like hours on end, right? So they're probably going to use games that are short. At least that's that's what I'm thinking. Different levels by blowing them. There are a few tight corners in the run and pixel perfect spots, but Proto was able to get through the majority of these levels with ease to get the world record of 6 minutes and 5 seconds. This wasn't the fastest time she's ever gotten getting a 5.49 in the practice room, but since it was the fastest recorded run at the time, it still counted as a world record. The current world record for he or she? 5 minutes and 33 seconds by Garbanzo Guy. And time. Nice. That's a really good. That is um. That is a world record. Wait a minute. That's a recorded world record. That is. Um, that's not the fastest time ever recorded because I got a 5:49 in the practice room yesterday. But hey, there we go. Shoutouts to cartridge children. Nice. Solid. Lock it in. The next one 
next one on this list is an all gold Tony Hawks. Gold speed run of Tony Hawks Pro Skater 3 during summer games. Tony Hawks 3? <laughs> oh, yes. I've been playing Tony Hawks 1. Because there are almost no instances of when a speedrunner won't be doing something. With only very minor hiccups, George was able to secure the world record position of 8 minutes and 54 seconds. The current world record for the speedrun is 8 minutes and 15 seconds by Faded LT. Hang on, what's it? What do you have to do? Finish the game. Holy shit. Okay, so it's the last level. He's gonna get skate. Skate is the last. <laughs> skate is the last uh, goal. He's finished the whole fucking game. This is one of the fastest speedrun games if we are comparing games by actions per minute, because there are almost no instances of when a speedrunner won't be doing something. With only very minor hiccups, George was able to secure the world record position of eight minutes and fifty-four seconds. The current world record for the speedrun is eight minutes and fifteen seconds by Faded LT. Holy shit. He just did two goals in the last like two seconds. Three goals. He, he hit three goals in the last three seconds and clocked the game. What was it though? 15 seconds by faded of 8 minutes and 54 seconds. 8.54. What the fuck? It took me 8 minutes and 54 seconds to fucking learn how to use the controls again. Whoa. I wonder if he can skate in real life. That's a world record. Yeah! That would be really, really interesting. If he can't, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm kind of disappointed. That's been my favorite game so far, no doubt. The next run is a hard Ugh, not another 2D game. Look, they were good back in the day, but you wouldn't see me playing them now. It's really, it's a shoot 'em up before we had things like Call of Duty, right? Metal Gear Solid. I used to play that. That was that was pre that was pretty fun. As it is in the other Metroid games, this run is also the low percent run or the ten percent run. So Dragon Darch only gets ten items in the run, which also makes the run insanely difficult. Even with all these things, Dragon Darch managed to get his personal best during his marathon, as well as setting the RTA world record. Look at his fucking hand! Minutes and fifty-six seconds, which is still the current world record because it's rarely ran. <laughs> wow. Hang on, we've got to, no, we've got to watch that again. <laughs> I almost missed that. Look at his thumb. Only gets ten items in the run, which also makes the run insanely difficult. Even with all these things, Dragon Darch managed to get his personal best during his marathon, as well as setting the RTA world record of one fifty-six seconds. I'm sorry, but that that is some rapid fire movement. <laughs> Look, man, an hour and nine minutes of doing that. Holy shit. Look at the size of his thumb. He's been doing this for years. Oh. What is an RTA world record? The next run is any percent. Is that RTA recorded time? What does RTA mean? A real time attack. When you start, you start the timer when the game starts and end it when you're done. So you count loading times cutscenes, etc. This is in contrast to IGT, which is in-game timing, where the game's timer is used, e.g. in Pokemon games. Okay, makes sense. Because, yeah, I spent 30 hours on stream, but the Pokemon clock, running game clock in-game, actually said 28 hours. So I'm going to say 28. I'm going to say I did it in under 30 hours. That's a PB. That is a PB. Um. But yeah, RTA is real-time attack. So you start the time when the game starts and end it as soon as you finish the last thing. So basically, to me, that means you use an external clock to time the game. Let's see the speedrun of Minecraft during Awesome Games on Quick 2014 by Bismuth9. In this speedrun, the runner uses a set seed so they know exactly where to go in the speedrun and have a set route. In this run, the speedrunner will deal with a bit of RNG, dealing with NPC spawns, have some pretty difficult Ender Pearl teleports, and defeat the end game dragon by exploding This means bows. nothing to this me. I've never played. Well with the great accuracy in his ender pearl teleports and shots with his bow and arrow to do a first time ever death into the end game portal. All of this during a marathon run and pulling off the world record of 16 minutes and 40 seconds RTA and 15 minutes and 16 seconds in game time on version 1.2.4. The current world record for the speed run is 6 minutes and 37 seconds RTA and 4 minutes and 7 seconds in game time by Josh Gaming 4 on version 1.8.3.
What? <laughs> what a moment! What a moment! He's never seen it before, and neither have I. Let's see that again. <laughs> what the fuck? How does that even happen? Listen to the crowd. The crowd goes wild. What a moment. Nice. Well, that was pretty good. That's up there. But what's number one? That's what I want to know. Speedrun for Diddy Kong Racing during Summer Games on Quick 2013 by Two Fool 31. Three days before Two Fool did this speedrun, a glitch known as Glitch Storage was found, which cut the speedrun for this game down by an hour. Glitch Storage is done by performing a wrong warp out of the race Dino Domain during a trophy race. The wrong warp sends you to the main hub world, but when you're there, the game still thinks you're in a trophy race. So anytime you go in a race and finish it, the game will think it's Dino Domain trophy race and give you a trophy. The thing is, it gives you the trophy not for Dino Domain, but for the race that you go into, skipping a lot of the prerequisites for loads of the races. Since this glitch had only been found three days prior, there weren't many recorded runs of people doing it. And the world record How do people still find fresh. glitches and like this? That, but Tufel had an amazing run, which granted him the world record. Look at these guys. You know what, man? I <laughs> This whole time I've been watching the game. I should, well, actually no. But these guys I can actually see properly. And the one on the left is hugging his soft toy. The one on the right's looking pretty fucking happy. Um, the, the, the four behind them are looking, are looking, uh, well, yeah, very, very interested. And, and I will say that this guy back here in the blue hat is my favorite of them all. Um, let's see what happens. Three seconds by Mrs. Gizamaluk. Two full still runs... Beating the world record by an hour on stream in front of everybody. No wonder it's number one on the list. This game and currently is a second place holder. And time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at their heads, bro. It's like it's like a flock of birds. It's like a flock of seagulls. No, no, sorry. It would be Maybe even meerkats. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it is. Let's watch that again. And time. Oh, no, no, no. They didn't all go at once. But they do come back at once. That's a new world record. Hey, what happened to the soft toy? Let me see. <laughs> he just let it go. Oh no, no! <laughs> yeah, you gotta jump up, man. Great work, mate. Champion. Absolute champion. Made it to number one, believe it or not. And with that, my friends, we move on. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will not take up any more of your time. That was the top 10 speedruns at the games done quick weekend see i just remembered and i tell you what I wouldn't mind being a part of that but only if they had madden or tony hawk or gran turismo and i'll tell you what there is one thing and one thing only in the world of gaming except for vr that i want to get next and that is a sim racer kit a seat a steering wheel a set of pedals a gear stick a screen in front of me Gran Turismo loaded, locked and loaded, ready to go, and I'll have a fucking ball. So, if I uh, come into a, a, a big windfall of money, you know what the first thing I buy is going to be. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I'm really grateful for you being here. This was a bit of fun. And that's what we do on this channel. We have fun. So, thank you, and good night.